Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, all my colors of beauties, my CBs. Birthday that's in July. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday, my beautiful CBs. All the people who have um, birthdays in July, I want to wish you a very, very happy birthday. Sorry, it was a little late, um, but better late than never, right? <laughs> happy birthday, everybody! I'm gonna be doing a um, tutorial on this look. I think it's really, really cute. It came out cute, <laughs> cute. Did I sound like Minnesota? Cute. <laughs> Oh, probably not. I don't know. My husband's from Minnesota, so his accent kind of like, you know, goes into me sometimes. But, uh, no pun intended. <laughs> um, anyways, uh, so yeah, let's, yeah, okay. After I turn as red as that. Anyways, I put some, uh, we have some red glitter going on and some a red eyeshadow. It's, I like it. It looks very lovely. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, but first I'm going to tell you a little bit about your birthstone, if you do not mind. Um, the ruby. Oh, the ruby, it is the most valued king of gems of all of them. Yes, it is. Um, it represents love and it represents health and wisdom. So, yeah, so the ruby, you guys are really lucky. That's a beautiful, beautiful stone, too. I love it. My mother was born in July, so she just had a birthday not too long ago. Happy birthday, Mommy. <laughs> and, um, anyways, back to the ruby. And the darker the ruby, the more valuable it is. So the ruby ha is uh, made like a fluorescent color in it that makes it fluorescent so it kind of like burns like when you look at it, it kind of burns the, the color burns from inside and that's caused from the fluorescence in the in the stone such a beautiful beautiful color the um the hindus used to think that that if they would get the the ruby stone that they would give it to their emperor no their um their king at the time and and then they would be reborn as emperors so then they would you know try to go and get some some rubies from um what's called uh, i guess it, they called it the uh the china silk trade road where they would um trade um, silk and um and rubies and so the they wanted to you know some rubies so that they can present it to the to the gods at the time of course you know whatever their god whatever and so that they can you know reborn uh emperors in uh in 600 a.d um the soldiers would um go ahead and implant like uh rubies in their skin you know they would cut and then they would put rubies in their skin um to protect them in battle um because it was said that it would protect them and would just you know not have them killed during the battle times but it wasn't um it wasn't a considered registered as a condemn condemn i think that's how you say it until like the 1800s so then after like um the uh, Maurice mines like depleted their 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 gems. Then um, in 1990, uh, I think in the 1990s, I think that's what it was. That uh, then this other place called the called the Mong Mongsoon region um, started to to produce the uh, the stone. So yeah, that's just a little bit of a tidbit on your ruby. Um, it is a beautiful, beautiful stone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this look for you inspired by the ruby. And uh, here we go. Woohoo. <laughs> okay, you guys, first thing I'm going to do is get my primer potion. Um, I'm using the wet and wild one. Um, and I really like it because it works and uh, just getting a tiny bit and it's inexpensive. I mean, you yes, you can get, there's some Urban Decay ones that I like, like the Sin 
Um, I really like that one because it's uh, very sparkly and you could just put it on your eye, you know, without um, any makeup and it, it looks really super, super nice. So I'm just going to put that all over my lid just like that. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this brush from um, Sigma and take some of this off. I did this eye and so I have to get clean it off from the um, some of the other stuff here. Ooh. Okay, so we're using Makeup Geek uh, shadows today and I'm gonna go ahead and use, uh, this one is Vanilla Bean, this one here. I'm gonna put that all on my lid, on my, uh, not lid, but my um, brow bone. I'm gonna use a different brush because I think that one's a little bit too. <sighs> I'm gonna use this one here. Cause I think that one's got some of the bitten on there that I use for that. So I don't want it to be all like gross. Even though you you know you wipe it, you still have it's so pigmented, her 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 colors are so pigmented. Okay. Here we go. Bring it all the way down into the crease area right here. All right, the eye's gonna look like that. Next color I'm gonna be using is called Bitten. Um, Bitten is a really rich color, so you want to be really careful with it and just kind of dab it first. I'm using the Sigma, um, the e, 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 e something. I don't know if you can see that. I can't see that because I'm on the glass of mine. But I'll write everything down below. And I'm just like barely tapping. And I'm also taking off the uh, excess on there. So what I'm going to do is start at the end here. Don't go into this part right here. Just start right above like about right here, okay? And then we're gonna go in. So just like that, wanna start slow. What I'd like to do is, you know, start slow, kinda scoop my way in to where about where I'm gonna stop. Actually, a little bit before I know I'm gonna stop because you know it's always gonna go in a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do this motion yeah just like this okay this is such a really rich color and like I said you really want to go in with it slow you don't want to go in with it all like gong-ho because it's going to it's going to show I need to get a, a something here Okay, so you wanna do this. Now what we're gonna do is put, get in a little bit more. And then um, I got a little bit more on my brush, so now I'm gonna go in here, and then I'm just gonna go like this, just right in this area here to intensify the color a little bit in that area. Okay, cause I want it to be darker here and goes into lighter here. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and go in this way. Just like that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and um, get this brush and I'm gonna go ahead and blend. I'm gonna blend uh, just like right between the uh, vanilla bean and the um, the bitten. It's like this. Okay. And then um, I'm gonna go back and get some 
uh, with this brush right here. I didn't put any more on there. I uh, just using what I have on my brush. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and get some more vanilla bean on this brush that we did used for uh, the blending. And then I'm just gonna go back up and between the two shadows. Okay. Okay. Um, so your eye is going to look like this when you're done. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get this other color. And it is uh, called, um, um, actually, you know what? We're going to go back with um, Peach Sofa. Did I get that one? Or I don't know if I got that one. Yeah, we're going to go back with Vanilla Bean. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go back with Vanilla Bean and I'm gonna be using this um, flat shader brush. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and start patting it on. The lid. Turn that brush upside down like this, and then um, go ahead and blend right into the crease there. Don't go up, you know, don't travel up, just blend in the crease. Okay, clean that off, get some more. If you are a darker skin tone, you can use um, a color like uh, like Purely Naked. I'll show you this, goodness, like that. Okay, so your eye's gonna look like this. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, get uh, the color Shimmer Shimmer. And uh, I'm gonna put that in the, um, in there, corner of my eye. I don't know why I couldn't think of that. Corner of my eye would fell. And just sweep it in just like that okay now the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and get my pencil my eyeliner pencil this is from Urban Decay this is the color zero I'm gonna do my waterline the top waterline and the bottom waterline And then I'm gonna go ahead and do the top lash line. Barely, um, barely on the lash line, you don't really wanna go all out with the big uh, black streak on top. Okay, just barely and don't worry about it if it's not like if it's skipping um because we're gonna do something else here i'm gonna go ahead and get uh this brush here this is i got this at a uh, like a 
Where did I get this at? Oh, Michael's. Yeah. I'm going to get some glitter. I already have some here from this eye, so I'm just going to use what I have. And what I did was I put some medium on there from um, Inglot, these little drop things. And it looks like it's already dried up, so I'm going to put a little bit on there just to magically <laughs> revive it. And um, here it is. Now, I did sanitize this CD. I always sanitize my things before I put them on or put anything on them. You really want to do that because you don't want all kinds of yuckies all over your eyeballs. Not a good idea. Okay, let me get some on here. And then um, I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and... You, you really should put something under here because it you will have fallout. So I'm just going to go ahead and place this right here. What you want to do is you want to look down into your mirror and then just tap into really close like you're putting on um, eyeliner. You want to pick some more up. Got too much there on the thingy. You really want to take your time. Because the last thing you want is glitter like in your eyes. That would not be good. Okay. So then now what we're going to do is we're going to get a different brush. We're going to get this pencil brush right here from Sigma. Going to go in with the color Bitten again. What we're going to do is just put just a small amount on it. Not a lot, just a little bit because I don't want the bottom to be real intense. Um, because it'll look kind of like odd, you know, I don't know, look odd. And don't worry if some of the black um, interferes with the uh, the color because you I you want that you want it a little bit mixy uppy in there, which will look really you know kind of nice. So, all right. So there you go, and then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do the rest of my face, and I'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Okay, you guys, for the rest of the face, what I did was I um, did put some Lorac contour on for the contour part. That's what I used. And then for the blush, I did want to use a little bit of a red tone to it. But um, I the, the closest thing I had to red was this one here. This is from um, Sleek Blush by 3. And I did use this one here. Okay, I'll write everything that I uh, use in the down bar for you guys for this video. For the eyelashes, I did use this mascara from uh, Maybelline. And then uh, for the lips, I did use this NARS. It's really, really pretty. I don't know what the name of it is, but I will link it down below. It's such a beautiful light pink color, almost like a... Um, 
it's got a little bit of, of a purple sheen a little bit. I thought it would be really, really cute since I'm wearing the top and a compliment the, uh, the eyes. So yeah, so I wanna wish you guys a very, very happy birthday to all of my CBs out there. Don't forget to subscribe down below thumbs up share leave me a comment down below let me know what you guys think or if if you know you guys had a birthday in july um and and um also ring my bell Bing. and uh, so so you guys can know when i have um other videos coming up and let me see what else did i miss anything oh follow me on all my social medias i do have facebook instagram twitter um snapchat and of course YouTube and uh, yeah I will see you in the next video and have a beautiful colorful day and a beautiful colorful um, birthday wishes from me to you bye subscribe